shooting today? Tongue taste! Go eat all candy taste in buds. this box. Taste buds. It's a tongue taste. Sunny, please, taste buds. Tongue taste. Sasha, we call it taste buds. Tongue taste. You know what? <coughs> we'll figure it out. Taste buds. Let's see what she say. Suck it. Mm. Welcome to Tongue Fungus. We are your hosts, Matt and Sasha. Speak up, Sasha. Hello, welcome to Tongue Fungus. We are your hosts, <laughs> Matt and Sasha. Sasha, Sasha, what are we doing today? We're doing a tongue taste. No. Taste buds. Hello, welcome to Tongue Fungus. I am your host, Matt and Sasha. Sasha, what are we doing today? Tongue taste. Taste buds. Hello, Taste welcome buds. to Tongue Fungus. We are your no. Hello, welcome to Tongue Fungus. I am your host, Matt and Sasha. Sasha, what are we doing today? Taste buds. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Taste. All right, so today we are doing taste buds, Not and taste. Uh, today we actually got something. It's it's uh, from UniversalYums.com. That's on the box. And. Uh, Sasha and my wife got it for me uh, for a gift or a and or a present. Cause I'm awesome. What's going on in here? This this today uh. The month's theme. Every month they have a different theme, candy and snacks and stuff from all over the world. And this month for the month of April, it's Austria. 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 So let's uh go f read through this little pamphlet. Sasha, it had a little thing going. There's actually trivia in here, so cool. I'm gonna test you. Okay? Yeah, that's me cool. I don't know. I'm gonna test you. Okay. So this is what comes inside. Oh. And then what do we have on the inside? It also says uh, the different items. So uh, the very first item is Kelly's American Pizza Rolls. After World War II, an American soldier named Major Howard. Morse Kelly decided that instead of returning to America after the war, he would stay in Austria. He and his Austrian business partner Herbert Rast, but he 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 made he made this that this stuff right here. We're gonna try this out. I want to eat the chocolate. Ooh! What? Oh. Ooh! smell exotic. Like fancy. I smell like I feel like I'm about to eat a fancy pizza roll. Mmm. Mmm. Are you holding them? Mm. <laughs> no, really good. It tastes like a like a cheese ball. Yeah. But the, the texture of stuff's like a cheese puff. Mm-hmm. But um, actually, it's like a yeah, it's like a cheese puff. No, but really. There's like a hole in the middle, and mm. it kind of tastes like pizza. Yeah. Mm. It don't really taste like pizza, but it, it's good. Mm. We gotta save them for Nico. Chocolate. We're eating something chocolate. No, no really hold on. Next. You watch it. Hold on. Mm. The next one is an hour toward the toward the neck. This yeah, one. Toward the neck. It's apple strudel. Ooh, in candy form. Come this on. thing is husky. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. It's, it's like heavy. There's an old Austrian proverb that goes, first bake the strudel, then sit down and ponder. You might ask, what is there to ponder? Here are a few things. First, you can ponder the fact that the apple strudel was making wave in Austria's culinary scene long before the United States even became a country. Ha! The Vietnam... Vien Viennese? Viennese? Viennese City Library is home to the oldest known apple strudel recipe. Ooh, it smells really good. Which dates oh, back husky. to 1696. Suggestion number two. I'm not done talking. You can ponder the similarities between apple strudel and baklava. Ooh, we sell that at my job. Husky. The Greek dessert that inspired Australians to, to reinvent their tasty treats. Thing. Or best of all, ponder how long you can make this apple strudel wait for last. We ponder this ourselves and have always finished eating it before we could come to any conclusions. 
Let's do them popping. Don't break it in half. We why? Because I wanna. I have. I'm weird. I like to un. No, I think it has a undo seam. Undo the undo. It has a seam. You break it. <gasps> oh, look at that! It has a very strong smell of apples and cinnamon. This is like a vanilla way. This is like the wafer candy. Oh yes, it is. It comes apart just like it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The cream on the inside. I haven't tasted it yet. I know. Oh, oops. Mind you, we had a big dinner. We had sushi. We made homemade sushi. So just finished eating. I'm burping up raw fish right now. Apple strudel. I was laying that down heavy. Me go on like that. We always eat food without Nico. Oh, mm, I take it back. It does break apart. Bam. It's not as sweet as the ones that they make here, the wafers. It's probably a good thing it's not as sweet. Bam. Chocolate. Pull that out. So, the next one in. is called Sissy ta ta Taylor. I want to show the camera. I'm going to take it out the pack. Yo. It's two different candies in here, baby. This isn't the same one. They are the same ones. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah. All right, take if the, you don't take the sissy Taylors out. I'm about to eat your wafer. Those look like Thomas Jefferson. This is the sissy ta Taylor. No, that's not it. This is the sissy Taylor. You look, see that? Matt, look at you look see? at what I'm holding in my hand. Matt, look at what I'm holding in my hand. Right. Listen. The sissy Taylor. This is the Sissy Taylor. All right, read, read the information for okay, Sissy Taylor. Okay, fine. Sissy, Sissy was the namesake of this candy. It was Sissy. born in 1837. Sissy. Into Bavarian royalty. Ooh. Because of this, her sister Helen was promised to marry Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph. And Sissy went with Helen on their trip to meet him. During that meeting, Franz Joseph decided that he wanted to marry Sissy instead. Oh, snap. They were engaged. Took, Sissy took her man, though. Sissy stole her man. No, dog. she didn't. She laid it they down. They weren't even engaged. She laid it down. That's crazy. She didn't steal her I man. I hope she made good chocolate, though. You ready to eat the like, chocolate? The I'm going to eat the chocolate. What's in the chocolate? Yo, it got her face engraved into the chocolate. This lady must have been. She stole her man, and she got her face engraved into the chocolate. Oh, my God. And I wonder if there's cream in it. You called it, didn't you? Give me. Are we saving one for Nico? Mm-mm. They totally killed that chocolate when they put that cream inside. Check this out. They were engaged. That's pretty good, though. Five days and married eight months later. And thus, Sissy became Elizabeth of Austria. Of Austria. Unfortunately, Sissy's mother-in-law was a controlling person who would not let Sissy raise any of her children. To escape her mother-in-law, Sissy traveled extensively throughout Europe and spent much of her time in Hungary, where she and her husband were eventually crowned king and queen. Mm, okay, I don't care about that. Um, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. It's apricot. Uh, apricot. Apricot. That's what uh, that is. Uh, marzipan. It's, it's engulfed in chocolatey truffle cream for a true stunner. This is, is, is a stunner of a chocolate. Us Americans are like fat. That look. <laughs> yeah, a, we are fat. This looks like a German Fiber One bar. <laughs> German Fiber One. It's a Pissinger. Pissinger. Hasselnuss Regal. Sorry, anybody um, Austrian who's listening, we totally butchered uh, everything. Um, Ecken Besser, son. It's in my blood, baby. You German. You're not even Austrian. Ain't That's German, too... uh, ain't Austrian German? No, it's not. You ain't got to put me on the spot. Let me know if you're Ooh, ooh, ooh. So here's a little info about this candy. It's a wafer cake with a hazelnut cream filling and whole milk chocolate. That, that joint tastes like, that joint sound like it's like a... One of them Fiera Rochers. Yeah, it does. You don't have to read the whole thing, because I'm probably going to edit. <laughs> Some Austrian dude created it. A that don't look like a crunch bar. You got a bar. Snap like a crunch bar. Something. Is this for Nico or no? No, Nico ain't getting this. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I love you, but you ain't here. Show must go on. Mm. 
It Ferrero tastes like Rocher. a tastes like a bar form of Ferrero Rocher. Mm hmm That's um, awesome. good. It's good. It's tasty. You know what? I need to make it on. Alright. We don't stop it. Same dude again. Next one is a Pissinger. Same guy. Mando Eke. It's the same guy who made the one we just ate. So maybe it's good too. If you're someone who always goes after the corner piece, you'll love this. Oh my means gosh, corner yes. In German. See? Corner in German. So Austrian has something to do with Germany. Sorry, I was wrong. You're right. Mmm! Mmm! How's it feel to be right? Mmm! Where my pizza? Mmm! You want it? Egg drum tastes like a chocolate covered cherry, but with no cherry in it. Back up. No, you ain't back up. You need to share or something. You already had your piece. You always do this to me. You eat your piece and then come after me because you know I'm a slow eater. I want to enjoy my meal. I can dig it. Hmm? I can dig it. Yeah, that's why I eat so slow. I don't like to rush my eating, okay? I like to take Maybe it Maybe you don't like this one. This is a black cheese, uh, cocoa scoop. Um, to anybody Austrian or German, I apologize. You're butchering. The black cheese, cocoa scoop, is a coconut macaroon. Ooh. So finish that. Mm. We eat that. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm the lighting. You know, we're trying to get better lighting. Can you turn that light a little bit? Yes, dear. Look, a black cheese cocoa stool. Cocoa stool. Stool. <laughs> Scoopal. Scoopal. That jaw is a coconut macaroon, son. I didn't even know they got down like that in Germany. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. That jaw got a ball spot up top. Mm. The macaroon, the coconut. It's like a drop of coconut and macaroon. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. That's how they get down in our street. You know I mean, they have like, pretty good chocolate. They like the apples. You I like I mean? England. You remember, you remember when we tried English candy? Mm -hmm. They ain't had no chocolates. But they had that really good candy that tasted like Skittles. Remember? Mm -hmm. The pink stuff. Yeah. That a little was good. millions. Yeah, sure. Like, millions. You like that? Mm -hmm. I was good. Finish that. Is that Thomas Jefferson on the front? Apparently, it's Mozart. Mmm. <laughs> so that's what he really looked like. So it's called Heindel Mozart Kugel. They named it. Why is Mozart's face on this chocolate? Why is it named for him? Did he love eating chocolate while composing his symphonies? Let us explain. At the time, it was common for business owners in Europe to name their products for famous people. Mm. who were born in the region where the product was invented. Mozart was born in Salzburg, Austria. Salzburg, I think. Salzburg, Austria, where these chocolates were first created after hundreds of failed iterations. Iterations. A man named Paul first <laughs> created the Mozart Bonbon. Bonbon. It's a bonbon. <laughs> the secret formula he spent perfecting a sp pistachio marzipan ball. Oh my gosh. Covered in nougat and dipped in chocolate, dark chocolate. <laughs> we about to get down. Look at that. That's the that's the Heindel Mozart, Mozart Kugel. Eat that, John. No. Nico don't deserve it. We still got a sissy yeah. left. Let's, oh, let's, let's Nico sissy. Aww. Sasha cares for you. You take the first bite. I will take the first bite. Good. Thank you. She waiting on Sasha. Rest is mine. Mhm. Mm it's like a healthy candy. Kind All of. right, real quick, let's ask you a question. Okay. Which of the following people is not Austrian? Oh. A. Adolf Hitler. Oh gosh. B. Arnold Schwarzenegger. C. Siegfried Fischbacher. 
Who uh, is that? He's a magician from Sig Sig Sigfried and Roy. Sigfried and Roy. Okay, Roy. Okay. I don't know. Or D. Sigmund Freud. Freud. Sigmund Freud. Freud. Yeah. Oh man. I think I know Freud is is European. I just can't remember what country. Arnold Schwarzenegger isn't he like German? Oh, I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Sig Siegfried from Siegfried and Roy. I want to say. You think he's not? He's not. I'm Austrian? probably wrong. Let me see. I don't think he's Austrian. I, Hitler, I think, was Austrian. He was German. He was somewhere from Germany. So see. Yeah, the, the Siegfried and Roy dude. I was wrong? No, you're right. Yeah! Austria is home of the old, oldest blank in the world, which opened in 803 AD. A. Opera Theater. B. Shopping Mall. C. Chocolate Factory. Or D. Restaurants. I want to say A. Opera Theater. Because, like, hey, what else were they doing? You're wrong. D. Austria is home of the oldest restaurant in the world. Dang. Stiff Skeller Street, Peter, St. Peter, which is housed inside St. Peter's Monastery in Salzburg. Both Christopher Columbus and Mozart have eaten here. That's Christopher a Columbus was a jerk. Christopher Columbus was a jerk! Which was in which of the following was invented in Wait, Austria? I'm not gonna ask you some questions. I already know the answers. Let's see. A. Beer Stein. B. Cuckoo Clock. C. Snow Globe. D. Hummel figurines. figurines. I don't know what a Hummel. I don't know who that is. What's a Hummel figurine? A figurine is like the little. You know how you say like knickknacks. I, I know what a figurine is. Okay, I don't know what. What's a Hummel figurine? I don't know who Hummel is. I'm caught between A and B. Uh, I think the Germans are more infam are more famous for beer, but apparently Austria and Germany are like this. Can I use a lifeline, Alex? No. 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 All right, I'll break it down half. Okay, neither is C or D. Snow globe or Hummel figurines. So then I'll go with D. D. Yes. You're wrong. Snow globe uh, what? was accidentally invented by Erwin Percy in 1900. He was trying to improve the brightness of the electric, uh, electric light bulb mm -hmm. when one day he decided to pour a white powder called semolina into the glass and he watched it fall to the bottom like snowflakes and a beautiful new trinket was invented. Mm -hmm. On the first day of kindergarten, Austrian children are given A, a paper cone filled with candy, toy, candy and toys, B, a letter to be opened on the day of their high school graduation, C, a pair of wooden shoes, D, shoes. a free dinner to be brought home and shared with their family. No. Let me see that. A letter to be opened on the day of their graduation. On the first day of kindergarten, eh, no, wrong. See, a pair of wooden shoes. Why would they give these kids these uncomfortable shoes? Eh, no. That's how they get down in our street, baby. <laughs> Free dinner quiet. to be brought home and shared with their family. I don't think so. A, it is. A, a paper cone filled with candy toys? Yes. And it is A, a paper cone filled with candy and toys called... What? Show Toot is given... To Austrian children on the first day of school, they're meant to make the child's first day just a little bit sweeter. Well, there's another one coming next month. Ooh, ooh, what's the clue? There's another box coming next month. What's the clue? The clue to the next month's box. This is the land where the sun always rises, where the yums are quiet and full of surprises. On the wild adventure, you'll have to be brave, but the end... We promised there be new yums to create. Is that from Hawaii? No. Just from Kauai. Kauai. And, Jap and, and, and where the sun rises. They're it's talking about Japan, Japanese guys. Oh. Japan. Which I'm getting next month. And we going to throw down. Which I think we already did Japanese snacks. But I'm going to do them again. Maybe we'll get some chocolate. Do Japanese people eat chocolate? Yeah. Dang.
It's just English people who don't like chocolate for some odd reason. Because our teeth are big and they get cavities and then it hurts their teeth. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below um, if you ever tried any of these uh, things. Oh, let us know. Um, and if you have, let us know what's your favorite Austrian candy. Mm -hmm. Hit the notification bell right next to the subscription. And uh, thank you very much, guys. You have a very nice day. Bye. 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 Let me know if you ever disrespect me on camera. No. What? I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, if you do that again, I'm messing with you. Yeah, you. Don't, don't edit that in the, in the, in the what you call it. You turn the camera off now. How's it feel to be right? Cause you're totally wrong. It feels real good to be right, so right. I had to make up a song. Ooh, baby. You wanna keep that in there, aren't you?